What's going on guys? It's your boy Clashing here back again with another video. Hope you all are having an amazing day. I know that I am. In today's video, it's gonna be kind of a different-ish video. I mean it's still gonna be a story time, but uh you know. Hold on. <sighs> Water is delicious. So today's video, I'm feeling a little bit more energetic. My previous videos weren't really like this. Well, my previous video, like straight up previous video, I was feeling really energetic because that was a collab with my cousin, um, which I could not figure out how to put a link down to her channel. So uh, her channel name is Origin Cats. If you look it up, it will be one of the first ones that pops up. It's a channel, not a YouTube video. I'm pretty sure all you guys kind of figured that. So, in today's video, I'm going to talk about my crazy neighbor that I just moved away from around like a month, two months ago. So, uh, it's a really crazy event that happened. Uh, proof is from any of my family members that it actually happened. So, let's go ahead and start the video. But first... Have you left a like? Because leaving a like and subscribing and commenting gets the video way more views. So go ahead and do that. So what happened is that, so basically, we lived in a big neighborhood. It was pretty big. Um, not the average neighborhood because, and multiple sections. And I'm pretty sure most neighborhoods have multiple sections. But this one had like, a lot a lot of sections to it like not street sections but just like sections that made the neighborhood like what it was so i lived in a like a big neighborhood and my neighbor that lived across the street so i have two neighbors that we knew that lived across the street and one of them just happened to be super crazy because my family is always getting ourselves into things like this just super crazy situations and so we were just like, you know, one of them just happened to be crazy. They mowed their lawn with scissors, you know. It, it was weird, but, you know, we didn't want to talk much of it. Like, we didn't walk up to him and say, hey, mowing your lawn with scissors. Like, that, that's pretty weird, you know. You should, like, buy a lawnmower. I mean, they should have bought a lawnmower, but I wasn't going to, like, walk up to them and say, hey, you're weird, you know. That's, that's, just, that's just mean. So... You know, yeah, they were weird, but, you know, we just didn't really get up in their business, tell them to stop being weird. So, they were weird, but, you know, it's fine. We were cool. And then, like, a few months in, they were starting to, like, throw trash into their yard, their garage. Uh, they were just throwing trash everywhere, and that was kind of weird. Really much weirder than the uh, mowing the lawn with scissors. That was... That's, like, it's really weird to just start throwing trash into your yard. And it's not, like, normal trash, like, cups, like, Walmart, like, uh, McDonald's cups. It's not that kind of trash. It's, like, they're throwing boxes full of their items from in their house into their yard. And so, you know, it's kind of weird. And there's two people living in that house. Uh, it was some dude and his girlfriend and then eventually a few months later the girlfriend moved out of the house which i cannot say i blame her and um uh, and now I, I it's gonna remember that he has a girlfriend all right remember that he has a girlfriend or had a girlfriend because remember that that's gonna turn up to be later on in the video that's gonna be something that i have to bring up again so you know, it was, like, his girlfriend moved out of the house. It, it was, like, I guess, like, I'm going to call it normal, but I can't blame her for moving out. So, a few months go by, and now this happens to be three months ago, all right? Now we're back up to, like, recent times. So, it was around, like, three months ago. And uh, we were all out, like at this house, watching it being built, because my dad built this house, uh, we were all out here at the house before we moved in, and, uh, apparently, so the other neighbor that lives across the street, the other ones that we know that I mentioned in the beginning of the video, 
uh, they were texting my older sister about what was going on. So apparently, apparently, not apparently, apparently, uh, there was the crazy dude that lived over there, and apparently he was on drugs. So what happened is he was, like, throwing things, and he was getting into a fight with my, like, actual neighbor who lives, like, not across the street, but, like, my neighbor, all right, my real neighbor. Um, apparently, they were getting into a fight, and it, the fight got so bad that my real neighbor had to call the cops. And so the cops showed up, and... Uh, the crazy dude that was on drugs, uh, he went inside and, uh, set his living room on fire. Like, I'm not even lying whenever I say it, but apparently he went inside and set his living room on fire. And now, if that is not weird to you, I don't know what is. Because setting your living room on fire because the cops showed up makes no sense. And then the cops told him to get out of the building because your living room is actually on fire. And uh, he was like, no, I can't get out because there's a fire in here and I, and I have a cat. And like, what? So, yeah, this guy would not come out of his house because his living room is on fire. And now, call me crazy, but I'm pretty sure that's the reason why you should get out of your house. And I'm guessing the cops thought the same thing. Hold on. Because they were telling him that he needed to get out of that house. And, like, you know, it's pretty normal. Whenever your house is on fire, you should you should probably get out. And so he wouldn't get out, and he kept on saying the same excuse, like, I have a cat. I cannot get out. I have a cat. And so if that's not weird to you, then, once again, I don't know what would be weird to you. Like, really. What is weird to you? But, uh, you know, it's it's really strange. This guy set his living room on fire. And so eventually some of the cops snuck in through his backyard, went through his back door, which he left unlocked for some reason, and uh, got him out of the house, put him in handcuffs. Uh, and I'm not sure what the neighbors were having a fight about, but, you know, it probably had to be bad for the neighbor, my real neighbor, because the real neighbor, she was such a sweet, nice lady. Like, she was really nice, and, you know, crazy meth dude had to, like, get in a fight with a really nice neighbor, so, you know, he got put in handcuffs, got in the car cop car, uh, probably talked with him for hours, that's just what cops do, and then they drove off. And so, apparent, and so, all right, here's what happened. So, then me and my dad, we went back there to pick up my stuff, some more stuff from the house, because we weren't completely moved out yet. But, uh, so this is a few months later. Like, this is leading back to, like, a month ago. Uh, so now it's a month later, after this guy went to jail. And so, our real neighbor, but a different one, not the one that got into a fight, but the one that lived on the other side of us, uh, she came outside and told us that we should not be outside by ourselves. Like, dad is allowed to be outside by himself, but us, me, my older sister, well, me and my younger sister cannot be outside by ourselves, because my older sister was 18 at the time, but she turned 19 in January. And so, um, what was I saying? I forgot. Oh, yeah. So, uh, our neighbor came outside and told us that me and my younger sister cannot go outside. Like, we could not go outside. And, you know, that was, that was weird, but, um, you know, it, it, like, uh, my dad asked, why? Why can't we go outside? And our neighbor said, because apparently his girlfriend is a threat, too. And, like, I don't know why she's a threat, but apparently she is a threat and that kids cannot go outside whenever she is there. And that children, whenever they do go outside, must be attended at all times. 
And now this isn't the only time that that dude has been like really messed up and weird. Because one time he tried breaking into his backyard to look for his girlfriend, even though his girlfriend was inside his house. So, you know, it, it was he was just a really weird dude and he was 100,000 percent on drugs because that's exactly what the police found inside. But, you know, this video is getting kind of long. Uh, it's my longest video, so I'm going to have to end it here. That's where this story ends. Blah, blah, blah. Like, uh, we pack up and we move. Uh, that's where the story ends. And so, yeah, uh, hope you guys enjoyed that story. I thought it was just something that I, I should share. Uh, it happened months ago. So, yeah. Uh, hope you all enjoyed, and if you did, make sure you press that like button, and you should subscribe, because that helps me, and that helps my videos. And if you press subscribe, uh, you should also go subscribe to my cousin's channel, Origin Cats, once again. Look it up in the YouTube search bar, it should be one of the first ones to show up. Uh, I forgot what her thumbnail was real fast, hold up. I'm going to tell you guys her thumbnail so then you guys know what you're looking for. Here, let me go and pause. Okay, so her th so her uh, profile picture will be just some, like, here. This is her YouTube channel. Uh, this is what it looks like. Origin Cats, 31 subscribers. Get her more. Uh, that is her profile picture, but that is not what she looks like. Uh, she has, she posts multiple videos, uh, not very often, though, well, not as often as, like, not as often as me, but, uh, she posts, she posts videos, and so, yeah, guys, go ahead and go subscribe to her, uh, she needs more subscribers, so then she can get more things for YouTube, she has, uh, she might be making a video pretty soon about a super rare Pokemon card that she got. Um, possibly the only one in the world because we tried looking it up. Like, we had literally researched this thing and could not find anything popping up for it. So, yeah, that is where I'm going to end the video. Hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.